yellow. Y'all scared my poop out, man. Golly, it's my stud finder. I got the STD. All I need is you. What's cracking, mother truckers around the gosh dang world? Out and out back here, and it's a new gosh dang year. I should be a rapper or something. Realist in the game, I don't even give a shit. shit, shit. Gonna blow up big like Dolly Parton's kick bones. <sighs> I already got that dip in. Got that backwoods blueberry in today. We're about to go over that, man, because it's a new year, right? Every year, I like to do a little freezer tour, as weird as that sounds. As the god of dip, I get a lot of dip delivered to me on a weekly basis. It usually ends up in the gosh dang freezer. I try a couple different things out. Usually, I do a bunch of videos on them. Well, YouTube don't like that very much anymore. So I gotta do a 2021 freezer tour because, boy, I am stocked up. If the gosh dang apocalypse was gonna happen, y'all, I'd have to get the freaking guns out and protect my freezer. 2A mud jug, speaking of guns. Yeah, I got my hand over here, man. Uh, I don't know why it's trying to focus on my... Heating unit. <laughs> well, as you can see, I've got a door full of dip. I've got a basket full of outlaw dip here, just just laying around, man, for anybody that comes by, for myself, obviously, and a bunch of other stuff in here, along with the chimichanga. Miss Outlaw buys me this crap when she, you know, has her girls' nights or something when she can't cook me food. Stay freaking prepared around here. This is my bucket of outlaw dip, all right? Now, I own Outlaw Dip, but with my super secret dip team, we're working on a bunch of different flavors, which what I got in now, Backwoods Blueberry, is the, I don't know why it's trying to focus. There's no face over here. <laughs> Son of a dick. <laughs> Get that Backwoods Blueberry in now. This is our newest flavor, right? But when we came out with that, they basically send me just little sample cans like this. And we're gonna go over those in just a minute. There's a lot of mix masters in here, man. It's got a watermelon top with a sweet tea bottom. Just a lot of weird stuff going on in here, man. So we got a bunch of different combinations of stuff. This is basically my tester box, along with a bunch of like older flavors like Lucky Lipper on different reformulations we were trying out. This is where they all go. So if I ever never ever need to revert back to something on a certain flavor that, oh, maybe we want to take a little bit of this and add it to this to make it like this, I go back into here and each one is, is kind of labeled either on the bottom or the top. A lot of this stuff gets sent to me by a bunch of different companies that I'm, I'm uh, hooked up with or have plans and deals with. But uh, let's just start from the freaking top, man. We're in America, so might as well go over some beautiful American gosh dang chewing tobacco. This right here is Chattanooga. Now I've had a lot of this stuff because uh, a while back I was doing vidges on a lot of these and you know, YouTube obviously doesn't like them very much, but right now we got some Chattanooga, which is, um, you know, it's a decent chew. Not a huge fan of it. Taylor's Pride, always a classic. Still not a giant fan of this one, but um, you know, some people like the chewing tobacco game is kind of going away and you're starting to see a lot more pouches and a lot more nicotine pouches, which basically this full bottom is straight nicotine pouches. Um, not because I do nicotine pouches, but because Outlaws possibly working on some. Because it seems like that's the way the market's freaking going. Listen, man, I'm not just a professional YouTube hillbilly. I'm also a professional gush dang YouTube hillbilly businessman. Y'all should be proud of me. Y'all should be really freaking proud of me. Freaking don't miss. We got some Granger Select as well. Classic in the gosh dang duck blind right here. Some trophy. Yeah, we got a two pack deal right there. And then last but not least for our chewing tobacco, we got JD's Blend. It should be called J.O.'s Blend. Jared Outlaws. And it would taste like venison. All right, how about some weird stuff right here? You guys have probably never seen stuff like this. This, ladies and gentlemen, is nicotine lozenges. Freaking Nick lozenges, man. So this is a company called Revel. This one is Dark Mint. And this one is a crema. So uh, I have not tried these yet. I probably will. Uh, it's just another market that uh, isn't really big, but I figured I would get some to try out. So those are still sitting in the freezer. And then of course I did a video on these, not this specific flavor, but this is Nick chewing gum. And when I say Nick, I hope you guys know what I mean. Don't really like to say it too much on this website because well, <laughs> I've been kicked off too many times and I think I've learned my freaking lesson. This one's a fruit flavor. 
not very good. Burns the throat like a lot. Four milligrams each. Not a huge fan, like I said. Another thing we were testing out, and then of course uh, we got some Velo here, which is a you know a pretty big company out there. They've switched their cans as of recent. Now they're in the circular cans. They don't do these anymore, kind of like the Camel Snoot. Me and Miss Outlaw, we entertain a lot of people that come over, right? Some new, some old, and a lot of people just, when, when my boys come over, they like to try different stuff that I get in. So having this stuff, rather than throwing it away, if I'm not going to use it, I keep it in the freezer and they come in here and they're all just like, oh yeah, you know, when we do poker night or something, they, they come in here and, and kind of uh, see what they want to do and pick it out for the night. Speaking of that, I actually got this for old Dang. You guys remember my buddy Dang, right? Thanks to my friends over at snooze me this is slim white dry thunder x got my buddy dang on this stuff he loves it so i got him a big pack of that he hasn't been over recently so he's gonna have a nice surprise for him when he comes back this is a big old thing of gosh dang Cancer in a can, I like to call it. Kayak. So, not a big fan of this stuff. One of the cheaper brands out there, but this is every flavor of Kayak. We got mint. We got cherry. Dude, by the way, look at these cans, man. They, they changed their cans. They got new cans on there with a, with a fly. So, this is cherry, peach, straight, apple, grape, and wintergrain. So, I was going to do a suicide video on these guys here. I never got around to it because of the problems that I have with my channel, but uh, maybe we'll be able to implement it down the road. Now we're getting to the bottom shelf here, and it gets a little crazy, okay? This is uh, this was sent to me by my buddy Snooby, who's got a uh, YouTube channel on uh, YouTube as well. This is his collaboration with Ministry of Snooze. Bourbon, whiskey, and vanilla. It's just little portions like that, and when you open it up, dude, it's crazy the smell. It's almost like a, a bourbon cream or something like that. Just amazing smell. Something you don't really see too much in backer, but uh, definitely dig that and it's always good to have around, like I said, when buddies come over and they want a little something different to try. I actually get a lot from this company right here. 77, pretty cool can. Um, this is a Nick Pouch company. This is Forest Fruits flavor raspberry and strawberry they've got a lot of different flavors this is the extra strong so this is 20 milligrams a piece which is extra strong obviously to the normal person but when you're talking about nick pouches this is actually one of the lower ones man 77 is a company out there that i've been seeing a lot um got a lot of their stuff because they do pretty gosh dang good with their flavors i don't know if the number 77 is how many flavors they have kind of like dr pepper and this company right here man is nuts okay they were originally from russia this is black tea eucalyptus mint bubble gum crazy flavors that you've never freaking seen before kind of like we would do with the dip but this is just straight nick pouches which you don't get that sensation that you do with the dip that we make obviously of course if i ever want to kill some friends that come over we got some freaking pablo for them which this stuff if you guys know is one of the hardest hitting pouches out there pablo along with killa this one is blueberry and these stuff will whoop you, man. Not fun at all, and they don't even taste very good. Talking about extreme, how about we bring up extreme? This company, a lot of crazy flavors as well. Fruit Vibes, Arctic Mint. They also have one called Lime Paradise that was actually really good. But, like I said again, not very fun. Super, super high Nick strength, and it's like... You're just dead after you put them in, man. I don't get it, man. People in Europe or something like that that do these all the time, maybe they're just a different breed. This is one of the worst things I've ever had, and if I ever want to just, like, have somebody hilariously choke on some stuff right here, clove explosion. Now, it's not horrible, but the smell, I wish YouTube had smell-o-vision, man. They do not look appetizing whatsoever, but holy crap, man. Oh, God darn! It's like you just opened up a bag of potpourri or something, man. Go! Cool. It is nasty. Clove explosion. Not a huge fan. GN Organic Series. Yeah, save that for the vegans, bro. Got some loose snooze. If you guys don't know what loose snooze is, let me find one that's open here. Legitimately looks like poop. I'm a big fan of loose snooze, though. That's why I got quite a bit of it in my freezer here. This is actually one of my favorite brands here, Odin's, and uh, this is their, like, mint flavor, you could say. Th this is all sent to me by my friends over at Snooze Me. They send me a bunch of stuff all the time. General. Some of these I can't even freaking pronounce. Here's a cool one for you. Mustang. 
baby. These are all loose snooses, which basically means you're gonna get your palm a little dirty by baking a prilla and throwing it in that upper lip. Another one you do not have to spit, but it's kind of like the Swedish version of long cut, which this is. Here's a strong cola from Jacobson's, crazy flavor. Here's kind of a cool rare one from General called Macmyra or something like that. Macmyra, kind of like the Copenhagen of Sweden. And then of course, one of the old faves of the Gosh Dang channel, we've got Siberia Black. Extremely black, actually. Always gotta have a can of Siberia around just in case anybody ever wants to try it out. Yeah. Don't really need to say much about that one. <laughs> Hemp flavored. Keep this around for all my stoner buddies. As y'all could tell, I got like so much dip, I don't even know what to do with half of it. So it mostly just sits up here. And my wife bitches at me every once in a while that I need to freaking clean it out. But I don't because I'm not a simp. I swear I'm not. This may surprise a lot of you, but I have a can of grizzly dark why? Why? Might surprise you, but I have a can of Grizzly Dark Wintergreen in my freezer. I thought you quit Grizzly Outlaw. You're gosh dang right. But in my opinion, Grizzly Dark Wintergreen is one of the best wintergreens out. And when it comes to us creating a wintergreen, this is what I want it to taste like most. So for testing purposes only, you can see it's not even cracked yet. Because, uh, oh my gosh, man, come on. Then here's a couple uh, snooze, uh, snooses that I've been actually doing a lot recently that I've been keeping in here. This is off-road. One of my gosh dang favorites, dude. This stuff is freaking awesome. Super simple. The taste is very bland, honestly. But the feeling it gives you is great. Here's another one. This is Odin's Extreme White Cold Dry. A lot of crazy things, man. I like to keep it short and simple. The Swedes... They freaking confuse the crap out. This is where we might get a little bit controversial, okay? Let me close this thing because it's getting a little gosh dang loud. But I've got three of my competitors' products right here. When I'm talking about competitors, I'm talking about tobacco-free dips out there in the market, okay? Um, I won't name the brands because I think they're actually horrible, okay? But, uh, like, just let me give you an example. I always like to keep their cans in my freezer at all times because if I ever need to revert back to something, I like to see. Now, here's a can of one of our competitors, and the funniest thing about them is you can't, I can't even, the freaking hell, man. I can't even get the gosh dang. Now, obviously, if you look at one of our cans, this one is a lot fatter and their can dimensions are very weird, so we definitely don't uh, try to be like them at all, but I haven't even been able to like open this freaking can because I can't even get the gosh dang top off, man. If you want to have a product that you obviously want to dip, maybe you should make something that you can actually take the gosh dang top off. So yeah, that one. It's always good to see what your competition is doing. Anyways, enough of that. One more thing I got for y'all right here. This is the flavors that we're working on. Now, they're in cans that we carry right now. This one is the blueberry can, but you can see that it has an M on it. Working on a flavor that starts with an M. Hmm. This one has a WG on it. Hmm. And this one has an ST on it, but where it's not sweet tea. Not sweet tea at all, ladies and gentlemen. So these are three flavors that are working on. We're actually working on six flavors right now, but these are the three that are almost done. All right, I think that does it for Outlaw's Dip Fridge Freezer Tour 2021. I still don't know what the dick to call these things. If you guys wanna try some Outlaw Dip for yourself, just for you, because I love you, use the code FREEZER for 10% off your order this week only. I'm gonna run it till the end of the week. Use the code FREEZER for the Freezer Tour video, just for you guys here on YouTube, give you a little discount so you can try the product out for yourself, if you want. Obviously, we got names like Wild Watermelon, Lucky Lipper, Yellow Blend, Wa uh, uh, I almost said it again, Ramblin' Root Beer, Backwoods Blueberry, Badass Bourbon, which is coming back soon. If you've got a flavor in your mind that you wanna see implemented into dip that y'all can suck on and spit it right out, I want you to let me know what flavor you want to see and also name it for me in the comments. Backyard barbecue, I don't know, man. Be creative, but I am going to be scrolling through these comments and getting some good names and flavors for you guys. And this year, we're going to be using a lot of y'all's flavor ideas from this video comment section. It's getting hot in here, man. Shit. Oh, 
258366, no matter what you're doing. Keep it freaking hell, Billy. And if you don't, Jimmy Jungle. Yeah, hello. Up on the left side of my bed Check the clock and two o'clock is what it said Jugs up if you're down to dip tonight